you're a comedian, you've got a big night coming up at the open mic performance. You know, the last few weeks doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter that I didn't come up with many jokes on you material. I've got a few more days. I've got to make them count. Uh, got to really prove myself to all those people who don't think I'm a great performer. I've got to blow all the other hacks out of the water. Yeah. Okay, let's start. What am I thinking? Uh, right, well, I received my results the other day, and uh, I didn't care, because all I could think about was performing comedy. And uh, I just seemed to be wanting more, ready to get the next thing, not being satisfied. I mean, I guess that's one of those universal things. That could be interesting, right? Yeah. I mean, personally, I don't care if people love me or not, and that's because I tell them the truth. I make them face it. And people... People are scared of the truth sometimes. Well, not me, but, uh... Anyway. How could I make all that funny? What was that? Sound came from downstairs. Could be Beth. Haven't had a proper conversation with her for two or three days. I wonder what she'd think of my ideas. Right. I need an excuse to go downstairs. I've got to stop looking desperate for company. Oh, perfect. You. I mean, hey mate, what's going on? Uh, not too much. You know, I have to admit, Joe, I thought you'd be holed up in your room, catching up on all the TV you missed due to exams. Man, I already told you. My final exam's tomorrow. Oh, my bad. Well, anyway, uh, you can't be getting much prep done downstairs. Um, well, actually, I needed a treat, so I was brushing my teeth. It's a break for my work. One that doesn't make me feel guilty. Um, besides, we all need to brush our teeth, don't we? And how many times have you now cleaned your teeth? Um, let's just say, even if I fail my exam, at least my dental hygiene will be outstanding. Alright, well, we actually do have an upstairs bathroom. I mean, that is best bathroom. And I do hope you at least let the seat down. Very funny. You know, well, actually, I think it's occupied at the moment. <laughs> I don't think it's Dave that's in there. I think he has a woman over. No, no, that's ridiculous. Dave does not know any women who are attracted to him. And plus, I think I heard him spanking the monkey at least twice today. Poor bastard, now that he's finished exams, I guess he doesn't have much to do except pleasure himself. Yeah. What a pervert. Gosh, and up there? Ah, oh, that's gross. <clears throat> um, well, anyway, I need to um, get back to my studying um, for the exam tomorrow. Oh, yeah? Ah, I was hoping I could sample a piece of my stand up routine for you. Basically, okay, I was listen, thinking. Okay, I really need to study for this exam tomorrow, okay? And Dave's already distracting me enough with his behavior. Alright. Nice. Joe, uh, aren't you forgetting something? Oh. It's gonna come back to that later. I get it. When the toothpaste runs out. Well, while I'm here, I may as well do a bit of cleaning. I mean, do my bit for the house. Do some cleaning. 
exactly. It smells like vinegar. That should be good. Back to work. Yep, my work's done. I could do it, but piss myself, actually. Sorry, Dave, baby. I'll be out in a minute. But You've been in there for nearly 15 minutes now, woman. What? What more can there be to do in there? Who are you? They said we had the place to ourselves. Oh, did he now? Oh, did he indeed? Dave. The hell? Can't you knock? Why? Are you expecting somebody else? Um... <clears throat> uh... No, no. What, why? Is, um... Someone else, uh... Coming? Don't play down with me, Dave. Who is she? And how did you meet her? Look, mate, it, it, it's none of your concern, alright? She's gonna be here any minute now, so please, just, just go. Seriously, man? You can tell me. We are friends. And you owe me for when you left the oven and I covered for you. Oh, come on, man. How bad can it be? After all, you've been free from exams since last week, right? Last month. Well, there you go, then. Happy days are here. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Great. Okay. All right. I suppose it is good to talk about it to someone. I've, I've just been feeling kind of empty ever since exams ended. You know, like, the only way is down from here. I feel like um, I've run out of time to change things and Listen, I Matt, think... It doesn't matter if it's nothing serious. Or even if she's a pig. No, that's that's not it. And she's not a pig. Alright, good for you, Casanova. <sighs> Listen, I feel that I've made a decision and it's too late to back out of it. It feels very... Permanent. Does that make sense to you? Um, yes it does, as a matter of fact. Do you think I didn't feel bad when I got with that friend that Beth brought back with her from Norfolk? I mean, I felt terrible about betraying one of my housemates to trust like that. I thought you would have felt terrible because it looks so much like Beth. Admittedly like a much less attractive sister. <laughs> that, uh, that's, that's ridiculous. Oh, no, no, you're being ridiculous. She didn't look like that. Well, but anyway, she, this one's much better looking, so... You know what? I think you've got everything figured out, so I'm gonna leave you to it. 
Yes, do, because she'll probably be here any minute. Well, actually, I haven't heard any flush yet, so... I think there's still time for me to run through this new idea I had for my routine to you. It won't take long. Basically, I saw this in writing in graffiti by the underpass. I thought it was perfect. <clears throat> the month has come and gone, and all I'm left with is the taste of its ashes. Really sums up what I'm feeling. Um, I, I don't think I get it. I, I mean, it, it's interesting, but it, it, it's not particularly funny. Well, I thought, why not end on a down note? I mean, everybody else tries to leave the audience with smiles on their faces. You know, I can see you've got plenty of things on your mind, so I'm going to leave you to it. What's that? What, are you paying women to be with you now? Actually, I... No! No! H how dare you make such an outrageous accusation! The nerves just come in here and... Get out! Get out! Hello again. Hello. Do you need to say it's Just I need to wash my bottle up. No one's done the washing up, so I have to do it. Uh, it's really annoying that happens, isn't it? Mm. Isn't this your mug? So what have you been up to the past two or three days? Uh, I haven't really seen you around. I've been in the library, revising, and I had a few auditions. Oh, really? And what were they for? No, not very well known. Musical comedy. And how'd it go? Doesn't matter, I don't think I got the part. Oh, sorry to hear that. What happened? It's fine. I just more important things to focus about now. Well, I mean, I'm perfectly willing to help out with the drying up if uh, you're feeling a bit overwhelmed. In time, I'll just leave it out to dry. All right. So I've been uh, up to some pretty cool things myself recently. Uh, yeah, I'm just thinking of getting involved in this really cool website and uh, obviously prepping for my upcoming stand-up routine. Cool, cool. Oh yeah, I was meaning to ask you. Uh, by the way, last week when you came back really late that night, uh, what was that like? That sounded like a lot of fun. What? I can't remember. You look really great that night, by the way. I've got to go in a minute, and I'm really busy, so... Alright, well... Why, why are you being like this? I'm just trying to be nice, and you're treating me like shit. I mean... I mean, would you rather I was just a prick all the time? I don't care what you do. I've got a lot of things on my mind, and I don't have time for you. Yeah, yeah well, I'm... I'm so sorry that talking to me for just a few minutes is such an ordeal for you. Well, I have to go. So you get on with your preparation or whatever it is you have to do. 
Bye. Wait, wait, wait. Before you run away like you always do, there's something I want to say. Quite frankly, I'm glad you're being like this, because I'm tired of putting up with your passive-aggressive bullshit. I mean, sure, you act all friendly when it suits you, but the instant anything bad happens, then you just take it all out on me. And I'm the idiot because I keep coming back for more. Well, I think it's time we didn't just sweep things under the carpet. I think it's time we faced the truth, reality. Because I see it all. It's all hidden deep. Everything you say, everything you do, it's all deep. But I do deep. That's my thing. That's because I'm a comedian. you got that off your chest. But one thing you didn't see was that I was worrying about the exam that I have to take in an hour. Now you know that, seeing as you seem to want to know everything else about my life, wish me luck. That's just not fair. I didn't know that. <laughs> now I'm the Bad guy. You just can't ever let me win, can you? Well, I hope you fail your exam. Hey, um, can I ask you for something? No, not right now. Quite frankly, I'm sick of this place. I'm sick of who I am in this place. You know, even my comedy is a disappointment. Can't even connect to anyone anymore. Not Beth, not Dave, not even myself. Come on, what have you got to be all upset about? You know, your exams are over. You're free. Okay, well, listen, um, so I can hear Dave and this lady, um, you know, y you know, doing their thing over there, and, um, I can't really focus on my revision for tomorrow, um, until I, um, until I, you know, um, um, until I, you know, until I, you know, do, like, do the business, you know, um, and the thing is, uh, I used... All my tissues up earlier. Jesus. So that was you I heard in there earlier. So the penny drops. Mm -hmm. And so the filthy tissues on your floor <laughs> I <guess. laughs> See? You're still funny. Whatever. It doesn't mean anything coming from you. One person more self-indulgent than me in this place. There you go. Okay, thanks. Um I'm gonna go back to my room now. Well, it's been uh, another 
terrible day. Punchline.